Hey boys and girls, just a quick video. I'm excited. If you see that, if I can keep focus, we've got an A axis in there. So let me see if I can do this one handed. So G0, A, um, we'll go to 5000, and a feed rate of 4500. Sure, sounds good. Go. We go over there. Looky, looky. We've got a rotary. So what we did, or what I did, is, come on, focus. Made some updates to the good old K40 here. We've got, we turned the original power supply up on end to make room, and added a second 24 volt power supply. So that's providing uh, 24 volt volts to the Cohesion 3D Mini as well as feeding the stepper drivers. Good grief, how far did I tell that to go? Uh, 5,000. Yeah, that's going to be going for a little bit. Um, at 4,500 millimeters a minute, so just over a minute. Um, so anyway, so the C3D Mini is in there and wired up. I've also got it wired for my Z-Bed. Um, which should be here sometime tomorrow. And we've got a pair of external drivers here, one for A axis, one for the bed. And then I'm just using the little uh, quick connect, um, BNC style or microphone style, whatever you want to call them, uh, so I can pull the rotary in and out at will. And I'll probably put one on the Z bed because I have a feeling that my height here until I cut the bottom. I'm going to cut the bottom of this machine out and raise the whole machine on legs on either side. Um, but until I get to that point, it's probably going to be too tall with the bed and the rotary in here. So I'll need to be able to take them in and out pretty quickly. Um, I still have to do some configuration and obviously light burn isn't quite uh, A axis friendly or rotary friendly in terms of um, you know, setting diameters and creating all the G-code and everything, but I do hear it's being worked on. So looking forward to doing some testing on that. And I'm also waiting on some drag chain because we've got, um, we're in bad, badly in need of drag chain. Um, I undid all this so you can see my, my targeting laser isn't hooked up at the moment and my air hose is just sitting while I'm getting things configured. Um, but we've got to get some drag chain in there because the way I had it before just was unruly and ugly and didn't do the job very well. So um, once we get that going, I think this thing will be ready to rock and roll once again. Uh, just a quick peek at my control panel for those who haven't seen that before. So we've got our lighting, lighting on and off, target on and off. When it's hooked up, laser enable the old... Um, ammeter, GLCD, power switch, and this was one of the early adoptions of the C3D Mini, so I don't have the pot anymore. Alright, sorry if that video was jumpy, I had to pause it for a minute. So, that's what we're dealing with, and I'm looking forward to getting that rotary going. I've got a lot of stuff in mind. I, you can see that I'm more of a spindle-based rotary. Um, primarily for my custom pens and things of that ilk uh, so I didn't go with the you know the, the style rotary that's gonna can you know spin cups and stuff like that but now that all the wirings there and the connections there I can easily add a different rotary swap them in and out whenever I need um, so happy days <laughs>